Okay. And the one more. Yeah. Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for this interview. I am very excited uh, to share this with you. Also a little nervous, so please understand this. Um, yeah, maybe we can begin. Uh, first, I would like to say thank you to uh, the June and Snake Kiln who agreed to join uh, this interview. We will try to present the Junan Snake Kiln uh, Ceramic Center to you because um, we have gathered here to talk about the sustainability of wood firing, of creation of ceramics, and also the living uh, as a potter. Uh, because we would like to introduce to you our project that will be joining uh, together this October. We will talk more about this later. Um, because we uh, will try to build a high temperature wood kiln in Nova Mesta, Slovenia, with the help of the Taiwan team. Uh, I would like to uh, warmly welcome Sofia, Liang, Yuting, and Mr. Lin to join us. Hello. Hello. Uh, and also, all the rest who joined this interview. Uh, I hope you will learn some interesting information. Um, so let's begin, um, maybe uh, with the first question. Um, what is a Junan Snake Kiln Ceramic Center? Okay, can I show? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Very good. Hi, everyone. I'm Yuting. <laughs> okay. Uh, Junan Snake Kiln is the history uh, building in Taiwan. So, uh, Lin Rui Hua, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is second generation pottery, and he also is a uh, home of Taiwanese craft. And Junan Snake Kiln is a eco museum of traditional ceramics. And we are and we have a old snake kill and being in sixteen of more than half central. Uh, we hope to continue the cultural history um, heritage of Taiwanese ceramics and kills and promote the beauty of wood fire ceramics art. Let people to know more about the ceramic skill and create the new path between the traditional craft and modern art. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so tell us a story how the ceramic center become and became to be. What's the history? So, okay. Uh, Junan Snake Kiln was founded in 1972 uh, before it's a ceramic factory. And our uh, first founder is Lin Tian Fu. He lived like nine uh, Crafton men and an ox, yeah, the bone of the ox, and made his own mold to make the about 3,000 um, firing brick and work night day to building the very huge kiln and the, the longer it's 25 meter which so we call snake kiln and now it's shorter to 20 meter and at the time uh, the kiln is produced like flower pot and Juna snake kiln is a free uh, remind snake kiln in Taiwan and still can fire it. We fire like about once a year. So uh, the picture is our snake kiln. Mm -hmm. Can see very big. <laughs> um, yes. Mm. So what are the main activities of the snake kiln today? Like what's the current? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we open to the public, 
so people can make an appointment to visit. Uh, we will show them like history or culture of uh, Taiwanese pottery and the traditional kiln. And we also have like class. Here is our uh, classroom and people can come here to make ceramics like tea bowl, teapot and any kind of uh, delis pottery. And also we make the wood firing workshop and promotion the eco-friendly way to fire it. We also have an uh, artist in residency like Anya, <laughs> and she is a very good artist from Ceramia. So have some in uh, ma many interesting activity about pottery and share the ceramics, tea, and life. Mm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for this answer. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about who are the people of your team? Like, is it a big team who you work with and how do you work with? Yes. Okay, so first, uh, Miss Misseling is the second generation of Kyo Master. And, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and his wife is Sophia. Mm -hmm. And she is the art director in Snake Kill. And I am Leo's niece. <laughs> and also assistant for like pottery making and kills thing and organize event, many, many things. <laughs> and we also have a five hour college working in the ceramic center. And we have ours would fight kill like Mr. Wu. <laughs> so uh, our team uh, he also cooperate with us for a long time so we have many friends like volunteer who love the ceramics also will come to help us mm -hmm. like this <laughs> <laughs> yes I was very happy to meet all of your team back in 2016 I think it is a very well uh heartedly connected team. Um, so now we get to the very important question, uh, at least for me, um, because I was so inspired of uh, what kind of work you do in the way you do it. Um, and maybe you could tell a little bit more to the other people. What is your philosophy for producing ceramics and also wood firing?欸,那你可以講一下那個環保採燒的理念嗎?嗯,就環保採燒的話就在燒製的過程不造成,誒,不造成黑煙,誒,完全燃燒。在燒製的過程就不會感到熱,如果你感到熱就是在燃回能源。
And the third one is that the so-called eco-friendly wood firing is that we are using the uh, the waste of the wood. And fortunately, uh, we have many industries here. So we, we now have uh, many waste of wood that we can use. And that is also called a primary energy. And it is recycled with the nature because it's only produce the uh, 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 carbon dioxide. So it's not using the uh, gas or other fuel that produce many pollution. And the force is, is that we uh, we have a unique way of wood firing uh, process and method that we use the uh, small amount of wood to achieve high temperature. And the fifth is that we uh, for the reducing the pollution of refining clay and the manufacturing the glass, uh, we only use uh, raw clay and express the beauty of the nature minerals with the uh, with fire. That's the five uh, basic concepts we have. I was very well uh, acquainted with all of the uh, basic uh, philosophies when I was staying at your place. And I also noticed that uh, one of the main reasons you went to sustainable wood firing was also this basic need because um, you try to produce as least amount of smoke as possible uh, because you have so much pollution already in Taiwan. And when the first, um, when you build the first uh, snake kiln and the ceramic center, it was built on the fields and later so much architecture uh, was built around it that basically now you live in the middle of the city, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So your need to produce very sustainable way of ceramics um, with the firing was actually your basic need, but also um, looking at the pollution all around the world, I think it's the need in all of us to start thinking how to do ceramics very um, sustainably and with the least uh, pollution as possible. And I found that with your ceramic center to be very uh, successful and I was very inspired to see how you, how you seriously approach it. And that is very inspiring for me and I hope for some other people as well. Uh, you said in the beginning you have uh, first built the big kiln, the snake kiln, um, but you have other kilns in your ceramic center. Maybe you can tell us a bit more about the kilns. Okay. Um, so now we have a five wood five kiln designed by Mr. Lin in our central. And they are different size and age and flame. Uh, each kiln can be filed stable more than 1,500 degree. And one of them even set the record in 2019. The Guinness World Record height height <laughs> highest temperature in wood vacuum. So this one is out alagam mm -hmm. and behind the wood. Mm -hmm. What's the name of this anagama? Uh Hua Shi Kyo. <laughs> the Hua Shi's mean is fascial because Mincelin very like collect the fascial mm -hmm. and Hua Shi also is the his name in Chinese. Oh, also okay, interesting. Okay. So maybe we get to the next question. Um, when I came to visit to Taiwan, I was so inspired by the uh, tea culture and um, tea ceramics. Um, and in general, ceramics in Taiwan was just so like going to another planet. 
like ceramics is a part of life, a part of living. Uh, maybe you can speak a few words about uh, Taiwanese ceramics. Mm -hmm. Because this question is very big and a little difficult to answer, so Sophia will be a little Chinese, then Liang will be translated. Perfect, thank you. 就是台灣的陶瓷的種類非常的多,從工業化的衛浴、瓷磚到個人的工作室、陶藝的創作都有。那有些人是拉胚的,有些人是拍。I'm just uh, request this the period a little bit and then I can follow up. But uh, Taiwan's uh, ceramic culture is very, uh, have many uh, variety of types. And we have uh, uh, industry bathroom uh, tiles on, on the toilets. And also we have many ceramic creation for personal studio. And, okay, bye. 有些人表現的是拉胚的,或者是做茶壺的,那有些人是表現的是幼藥的研究,那也有些人是用雕塑去表現陶藝。Okay, there are some of them is a real story, and some of them was a, a sculpture, and some of them are very good at the glazes. Taiwan 台湾是一个历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历史的历
that are beneficial to human beings to overall the world. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, for the next question, I would uh, first like to tell a little bit more how I met you. Um, I first met you in 2014 um, in Singapore, where you presented uh, your way of firing, your way of building the kilns. Uh, I joined your workshop, uh, which was led by Mr. Lin, and I was very enjoying the whole concept. And I think I remember all the people who joined this workshop were so a little bit like shocked how you do it, like how 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 high you fire, uh, how little wood you use, uh, and like people were like looking around like is this even possible so everybody was so um like wow they really do differently um and so i was more interested in about uh, your ceramic uh, center and in 2015 i also met you again in belgium at the joint exhibition where you invited me to come to visit you in taiwan in order to learn more about wood firing so the next year in 2016, I already come to Taiwan for three months where I stayed at your ceramic center. I learned and I observed and I watched how you fire. Uh, I joined several firings uh, with just observing and also participating. So I got a really in-depth uh, look how you do it. And um, my aim was also to build a kiln here in Slovenia. So I asked you to help me build this kiln. Um, and in 2020, I prepared the house for the kiln. And uh, this year in 2023, I hope you will come in October and help me uh, finalize the project building this kiln. Um, I already uh, said uh, about a little bit of, about uh, environmentally friendly wood firing and you explained it uh, a little bit, but maybe we can now go a bit deeper. Um, why environmentally friendly? Like, could you say a little bit more about sustainability of firing? Okay. Hey. Answer from Mr. Lin. Okay. Uh, 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 这几年的认识我们把这个想法跟观念能在那个地方种下一个好的因缘那之后会影响更广泛。Miss Lin said that uh, he first met Anya, as Anya said that was in Singapore. Then we they have a chance to, uh, we have a chance also. In uh, made in uh, Belgium, yeah. And uh, after the Anya is a residential uh, in Taiwan, when I say yeah, and and uh, uh, for the uh, all the um, uh, contact that uh, uh, Miss Lin. Uh, feel that uh, Anya is so strongly uh, recognized uh, 
our way of eco-friendly uh, wood fire. So, uh, Anya is also uh, working uh, so hard and so determined. So we are happy to to go and to to promote the uh, eco-friendly wood fire and and to promote it to uh, uh, as a very good uh, site uh, first in Slovenia. Yeah. Mestin said that he will introduce more uh, about eco friendly with fire when we met, and that will be more detailed and more uh, clearly in the future. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to it and working with you. Um, so the reason why we met here at Zoom uh, is to promote the Junan Snake Hill and their ph philosophy of wood firing and also to present to you our joint project that we will be um, making this October. Uh, the team from Taiwan will come here to Nova Mesto, Slovenia uh, to promote their uh, way of sustainable wood firing, to show us their way of kill building, uh, and together we will build a kiln for high temperatures. Uh, we hope to be reaching over 1,400 degrees. Um, and at the end, I would also like to uh, invite uh, all the other people who are interesting to join us for this workshop uh, where the Junan Snake Kiln team will uh, educate about sustainability, about wood firing, uh, about creating ceramics from local materials. Also, I will be joining this uh, workshop and teach more about the local geology because I'm an expert on the local geology. Um, and together we will fire for the first time the kiln that we will build, uh, hopefully reaching over 1400 degrees. Uh, so here again, we invite you to join us uh, and we are nearing the end of this uh, conversation and this interview. I am very, very happy you took the time for this interview. Um, you got the chance to see a little bit about the Junan Snake Kiln Ceramic Center and also they were, their way of working and their kilns. Um, maybe you have some fin uh, thoughts to finish uh, from you. Again, I would like to say thank you for joining. Yeah. yeah, and maybe we can also invite other participants okay. if they have any questions. Hmm? <laughs> maybe not okay then maybe we uh, finish this interview uh, we will put it on our website if still anybody would like to ask a question there is a few minutes of time we can answer and if not, we will answer more questions um, later in October, when we will all be learning how to build a kiln and how to fire eco-friendly. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, we are at the end of this interview. We are very happy you joined. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. See you in October. Then see you in October. All right. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.